that was literally on a knife's edge. Could have been anything. Callista brings it home, though, manages to get it. Now there's going to be the slow siege down. They're using the Tarak ultimate. They got two and a half seconds to cut through the base, and it looks like it may just be enough time. But suddenly the fight is starting to break out. They're looking for a chance to bring this one back. Betsy's in the middle of everybody, and he's not going to get taken down quite yet. Sheriff wants to redeem himself. Selfie pushing in. Ruin going to get down. It's traded. Targumus wants to bring it home. I don't know if he can. Are you kidding me? Who is going to end the game? Targumus wants to bring it in. Ruin goes down. What is this? Oh my god, H2K. That is fucking beautiful. H2K. Saving away Kado's jungle, pressuring him. Hook does land him in the bottom lane. His comp goes golden for the second. Flashes away from the box. Chain of Potion coming out. Here comes Skeens as well. Kado uses the Void Rush, but he's gonna fall first. Expect and Mickey teleporting in though. It's Excel. They want the fight in the bottom lane. Two for two so far. Now comp, can you get a? Just like that. Joke. Can die with Jenna. Will be here, ready and waiting to accept his just desserts. Shizuke steals it away, almost dies for the good of it, but manages to escape. By Tadasu looking for the bot line tower, true shot barrage! Oh. Goodbye! See you later! Shizuke caught out as the death comes in for Patrick, slinging out spells from the side. The fear comes out, Mowgli jumping in, but it's all on Attila. Has to hit these axes, but he is just deleted from the map. Well, Wolf coming out, Nuke Duck flashes towards Mowgli. It's a double for Alfari. Mowgli has no escape. He's walking back towards his tower, but the Mystic Chop will land and Origin Strike back. Way, but it's a long, long way away. Kato jumps in, gets cornered straight away, and they're going to try and get on towards Kato, but they can't do it. There's the Hema Plague as well. Smitty J trying to get on towards that back line if he can. Sheriff has popped the final hour, and he's looking to take down Soas, a jump in and sleep, but the Zonia's oh, all that's now not in the best of shapes. And here comes out the Glacial Fisher showing Hillasang is just gonna sacrifice himself. He is down to dust and H2 pressure and makes it harder for Patrick and Toro to be able to find advantages in a 2v2 lane, which is very strong. Razok now has his eyes set on the bot lane. There goes Denik. That is what we expected from him, but the damage back. Patrick gets the kill. Now Tori trying to do another one, gets the shield back up, but look at the counter barrage. It's doing so much work. Misfits have donated the kills. Copy gets rendered. Patrick with the triple kill. What's the bottom side? Kadro can start up this dragon. Cabo still 20 seconds away from respawning. Melis is going to try and heal himself oh. back up as Kadro gets the dragon. Infernal Soul now sits on them. The true shot barrage has been dodged. Comp doing what he can, but he doesn't really have too much mana on this Ash. Torre stepping to the front line now. He doesn't have the gargoyles. One more order from that Ranger's Cripple will be enough. Gets him down, but Patrick jumps forward. There's the shutdown onto Comp. Melita jumped on by Special, but the hook comes out. Special still gets the shutdown. LeBrov's gonna fall as well. Chased out by Special. For the active. We might not have time for that as Kato forced to flash. He is indeed Special's waiting in the wings. Kato's just got caught out. He's taken up, but look at Christ. He's pushing the bottom of the lane. Patrick with the Moonlight Vigil. Turning the lights off on SK Gaming. That, honestly, was impressive. Now all of a sudden, that's a flash fight. Limit's trying to save the day. Patrick is dominating Cry. In a position to actually carry this game as she talks oh, to kill him. Deja vu, deja vu. We've seen Patrick in this position before. He shuffled back. He does have the He's not taking any damage. He's not taking any damage. Oh my god, the Severum just does so much work for him. G2 gonna try and capitalize on him as he comes back up. He's healing. Oh, He's surviving. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to give them the ability, I think, to start uh, to push down that mid lane and rotate, but actually he's caught. Well out of position, has the flash, has the exhaust. Is he gonna try and get away? Pops the fake skin, look at the flash, goes all the way. This is not your solo two game today. First time. Okay, 17 kills, 15. All oh, the tension is building. The engage comes out somewhat. Okay, Cage comes down. 
Round of death throws down. Odo would expect they're locked inside. But watch Cajun. What's he going to do with the ultimate? And how much damage will Mickey do on the follow up? That's the big thing. Okay, not going to find it just yet. I'm looking for the explosive cards. There goes out the ultimate from Dreams. The knockout Gilius manages to put down the cataclysm. It's a trade. One for one. Jungle for top pitch. Fine gaze. Locked down Torre. Unbreakable wall. Still standing. Still alive. It's saved Excel. Torre's unbreakable wall blocks all the damage. And Patrick puts the nail to the top. And it is. Patrick jumping forward once again. Now fire down towards the bottom side. Afari in position. He slides it through the margin. Origin will not be stopped. But Afari's down and Perks is still alive. Yankos frontline now as Cold is forced away. It's on Patrick. It's all on the Ezreal to see if they can turn this fight back around in favor of Origin. They started it off well. They must kill Perks though. He remains alive. Patrick and Nuke just have to go Oh, off. they get wonder now. They're looking for Perks. Can he do it? He gets it. He gets it. And Origin will not go quietly into the night. They Take the fight versus G2. Jankos is gonna respawn, but Patrick is gonna send him packing with their backs again. The stone plate, the bot lane, White just glory in the jungle, two items everywhere else. It's Excel's fight to win. It isn't they're gonna jump in straight away as they look for the fight above so low. Special gonna get packaged though, and Melita snipes him off in the back by Patrick trying to do what he can here. As he jumps onto Comp, he gets him! Patrick with the aggressive plays, the Brock has to flash away, and now Enchi's running for the wins, trying to get back into his jungle where he was safe before, but K-Drama, the, the Thousand Pierced, barely devastating. XL coming in, but it's a 3v2, 4v2 in just a second as Pinoy comes around the corner, and that Dragon's already been started up, and XL realized they can't fight. Oh, what the? No, what? What? How did he? What? What? I don't even know how he got that. Mickey's gonna jump in now. Yankos, how did what? Patrick's dominating. I don't even understand. I don't even understand it, Venius. It comes to the execution. Both these team comps have uh, still windows for victory. I'll hold it, though, as Gilius has gone very deep on Patrick. He held the flash for so long, Foscur, and Gilius is now below 100 HP. The Fissure goes up. That's not good. Arthur Dagi stays alive a few seconds longer. He uses the Hourglass. Managed to stay alive. Now expect he does the same. Odo is on the front line. 3,500 HP. Forgiven. Play front line ADC. He side flashes. Continues throwing out the feathers. Throwing out the oh. answers. Feather storm to dodge away from the engage from Cadrill. He stays alive long enough to keep putting the damage down. Man, the no, fight's not over yet as Odo will just about get burned. Remember, the fight started with Patrick getting jumped on and the fight ends with Patrick getting the kill.